Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you this story that's called Calvin Gets the Last Word. Calvin's dictionary helps him find the best words of all. So one thing I know about Calvin already, I haven't read this book all the way through yet, is that Calvin loves words. So he carries a dictionary around so that he can learn all sorts of new words. Ooh, there's a whole bunch here. Some that you may not know. Bewilderment, courageous, hilarity, mayhem, prank, pulverize, retaliation, revenge, slumber, subterfuge. Those are some big words. Let's learn more about Calvin. Calvin gets the last word. See that kid reading a book? That's Calvin. And I'm the book. I'm Calvin's dictionary and I'm tired. If you were Calvin's dictionary, you'd be tired too. Why? Because Calvin loves words. I mean, really loves words. That means he has to find exactly the right word for everything, especially his rascally brother. I call my grandsons rascalians sometimes, these little rascals. Just wait till you see what happens. In the morning, Calvin brings me to the breakfast table. His tricky brother waits to tell a joke until the very second that Calvin gulps his milk. So Calvin snorts his milk out his nose. <laughs> what a mess. That's why my page that reads revenge has milk spilled on it. But Calvin knows that's not exactly the right word for his brother, although it sounds interesting. On the school bus, everyone is pushing and yelling and shouting, running up and down the aisle and throwing backpacks. That's when my page that reads mayhem gets torn. But Calvin knows that word doesn't quite fit his brother, although it's close. Looks like they're going to get in trouble for behaving on the bus that way. Ooh. I wouldn't be happy if I was the bus driver. At school, Calvin shows me under his desk. The teacher asks Calvin a hard question about the Nile River, and Calvin sinks down in his chair. That's why my page that reads bewilderment is wrinkled. But Calvin knows that word has nothing to do with his brother. Calvin carries me under his arm to the school library. When the librarian isn't looking, he and his friends write notes to one another, like, pass me some bubble gum. Of course, my page reading subterfuge is stuck to another page now. Somehow, Calvin knows that doesn't work for his brother either, but it does help him think. On the way home, Calvin puts me on the seat next to him. When one of the big kids grabs a little kid's pencil box, Calvin grabs it away from him and gives it back to her. Now you know why the page Courageous has pencil scribbles on it. Calvin thinks there is no way that's the right word for his brother, but maybe for himself. Courageous is another word for brave. It was really brave of Calvin to help that little girl. Calvin even hauls me along in his bat bag to baseball practice. He loves to crush the ball during batting practice, sending it over the fence. That's why the page that reads pulverize has grass stains on it. Calvin knows that although that word could work, not to mention it would be fun. It's not going to be exactly the perfect word for his brother. 
At the dinner table, Calvin puts me next to his plate. His brother waits to tell another joke until the very moment Calvin's mouth is full. Oh, not again. Wouldn't you know it, Calvin sprays broccoli everywhere. That's why my page with retaliation has green bumpy clots all over it. But Calvin knows that's still not quite the right word for his brother. Close, but not yet. Something's missing. Can you guys see on the refrigerator over near where Calvin's dad is standing? They've used alphabet magnets to spell out some of the words that Calvin's learning. I see retaliation and Calvin. At bedtime, Calvin slides me under his bed. I'm exhausted. My spine is bent. My pages are dog-eared. My cover's limp. I need a break. Even the page that slumber is on is wrinkled. But then Calvin drags me out from under his bed, gets his glass of water, and tiptoes into his brother's room in the dark. Suddenly, I'm not tired anymore. Calvin has finally figured out the right word to use for his brother. I'm sure I already know which page to turn to, and I'm happy to rifle my pages to find it. It's going to be soggy with water, but I don't care. Prank. <laughs> That's the right word for his brother. Oh, no. His brother just... Oh, Calvin's pouring water on his brother's head. I wasn't sure who that was. <laughs> oh, boy, he might be getting in trouble for that one. Hold on a second. <laughs> Calvin is laughing. His brother's laughing, too. They high-five each other. So now I'm looking for hilarity in my pages. Instead, when Calvin grabs me, quickly he flips to a new page. I'm wide awake now, and there it is, the very best word, family. <laughs> the end. Gosh, I really like that book. I love that Calvin introduced us to a whole bunch of new words that maybe you guys might not have heard before. Um, but I also like the way he and his brother could kind of play pranks on one another and be silly. But in the end, because they're family, they love one another. Hope you guys enjoyed that book as much as I did. Come back so I can read to you again soon. In the meantime, have a really great day.